So I think we're a blend, we're like red hot chili peppers fused with Muse. So lyrically, we've, we're like Muse, um, but musically we play that sort of funk, alternative rock sort of style, yeah, yep. which is sort of our favourite style to do. It's been very interesting, so we sort of started off playing the instruments, meeting up every Sunday, playing the instruments. The G-Strings formed to play in a Battle of Ants contest last year, in about October. And, um, you know, we had a lot of fun with that, so we decided, you know, why not keep going with it? So we tried to get a few gigs around town, that sort of stuff. We built up our repertoire, and it's just taken off from there, really. Once we started getting live gigs and whatnot, um, and people, you know, started appreciating our music, it was really surreal. Yeah, it's the weirdest part when people actually say, oh yeah, you guys are good. That was, that was pretty cool. It was like, oh hey, we're actually a band. And then we started to actually play at live gigs. That was, that was like, oh, oh, we're actually, we're actually playing at live gigs and now we're at the recording studio. So it's like gradually it's pretty, stepping it's pretty up. pretty surreal. <laughs> yeah, it's, couldn't have, couldn't have like said to each other at the start of the year that, you know, we'd be sitting here today playing a recording studio. We kind of didn't really, I don't, I don't think we, we wanted it to go further, but I don't know if we really expected it to, you know, get this far. It's just great to see, you know, the process, what, how long it actually takes to produce even one song. So, you know, it's really interesting what, you know, we have to do and how many times we have to record the song just so it is on a professional level. When you play the bass and the drums in a different room, they don't interact very well. It's, it's, it's really really throws you off. I've become frustrated this morning already and it's only been, what, three, four hours? Yeah. <laughs> and that was about in the first half hour, so, you know, it's, yeah, it does get frustrating, but hey, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about the finished result, you know? Being saxophone, the way it's working with me is everyone else is recording first their individual parts and then I'm going to play right at the end just on my own with the backing track. So I've never done that before, played along to a backing track and um, that sort of style. So I reckon that'll be quite a strange experience and certainly yeah. one to get used to, I think. But yeah. And so we set our sights on uh, creating an EP by the end of the year. So that's about five songs or so. So we've written a few more since then, which we're really you know, excited about recording and producing, yeah. Hope to make the charts, you know, up the top. That's, I think, everyone's yeah. everyone's dream. But, <laughs> oh, look, I think if we can manage to just sort of stay together and yeah, um, keep it up for the next couple of years, that'd, that'd be a dream come true, honestly. Yep. Um, being able to just have that extra connection with these mates is something which I think is pretty special. Um, you know, they're not just, you know, good friends from school, they're good friends from school who also are in the band that have, you know, made so much more possible and given us so many valuable lessons and experiences, so yep. uh, it's really tightened that friendship between all six of us, I think. Playing with these guys is like the highlight of my week, you know, I look forward to every Sunday because, you know, that's, it's, they're my mates, they're like my best friends, so, you know, it's, yeah, if I could do that with them for the rest of my life, I'd be a happy man, yeah.